Just this year Remo introduced the SMT kick drum heads. And that's a good reason to look at the kick drum heads they offer and also to do a direct comparison. Hey, it's Andy here and as I've just mentioned today, it's all about kick drum heads. If you want to know more about kick drum sound, tuning, reso heads, muffling and everything, we have a video up on our channel where we have a full kick drum sound guide. I'll link it up here. Um, and if you want to know more about kick drum sound, definitely go check this one out. In this video, however, it's gonna be just a comparison of different kick drum head models. So we're gonna have single ply drum heads, double ply drum heads, pre-muffled drum heads. And um, if you don't know our snare drum head comparison video, or now it's snare drum head comparison videos, I'm gonna link them up here as well. Um, make sure to check them out because a lot of the things I've talked about there also have the same effect on the kick drum. Now, to get the whole thing started, just as in the snare drum video, we're gonna have a comparison of a clear and a coated drum head. And a clear drum head has a clearer attack, sounds a little colder if you compare it to the warm sound of a coated drum head. Coated drum head, warmer, softer attack. Um, and so if you're looking for more of a muffled sound, go with a coated drum head. If you're looking for a very clear, crisp kick drum sound, go with the clear drum head. Enough talking. We're gonna have two Power Stroke 3 heads on the kick drum, clear and coated. And about the construction of the drum head, we'll talk later on in the video. The difference was quite clear, right? Now, let's talk about the setting here. We try to um, tune every drum head the same, so we use a tune bot and get to the same range. Um, the microphones also are the same. It's an MC740 on the front, on the outside for the low end, and a TGD70 right in the porthole for uh, the attack. I try to keep them as natural as possible with just a little EQing to make it sound nice, but not to shape the sound, just to clean it up a little, so that the differences between the different drum heads are clear to you, and I do not change anything regarding um, EQing of the microphones from one head to another. So the difference you hear really is the drum head. Now, to give you a comparison of the better heads, we decided just to keep the stock uh, reso head with a porthole. Since we did the clear head versus coated head thing, there's one more thing to mention. Um, coated heads sound warm and nice. I like the warmth of them. Um, but the coating might wear out after a while. So um, there's two things that happen. First thing, the coating disappears in the one spot where your beater hits the kick drum. And also, if you're playing a felt beater, due to the rough, a rough surface of the drum head, the beater will wear out. So one great thing to do is use those impact patches. They come with most drum heads. And if you're playing a coated drum head, install them. It will help to get some more durability out of the drum head and also it will keep your beater safe. Now, done with this part, let's continue with the single ply head. Now, the most common and maybe most sold single ply drum head is the Ambassador. Just as with the snare drum, this one gives you the most open tone. Also, since it's the thinnest drum head of the ones we're going to show in this video, it has the most low end. And also the responsiveness of this drum head. So if you play it with a low volume, maybe in a jazz context with a feathering kick drum, um, you still get the low end even with low volume playing. With a very muffled drum head, it's, yeah, it won't sound that nice when you play it in a low volume context. Besides that, since it's a single ply 10 mm film drum head, um, the durability isn't that good. So if 
you're thinking about really smashing the kick drum, this won't last too long. Um, but just to give an example, um, let's listen to this one compared to the power stroke. You really, you really get a very open sound. So let's listen to this one right away. Next up are double ply drum heads. This one is the Emperor and just as the Ambassador before, that's maybe the most common double ply drum head. Now even though those are Remo drum heads, the same principles apply to every other drum head company. So if, you, if you're looking for your kick drum head, um, the things that I talked about for single ply, double ply and pre drum drum heads will go for every drum head brand. Um, now, before I talk too much, let me just tap the two drum heads and you'll realize a lot of um, the differences. First, single ply head. Now the double ply one. So as you can witness, a lot shorter, um, more attacky. Uh, and that's also what it's all about. You have two plies now. We had a 10 mil ply with the ambassador. Here it's two 7 mil plies. So this will give you durability for sure. And it also gives you a more controlled sound because um, it's just not as thin. It's also not as responsive, um, but you'll lose some of the overtones that maybe you're not, you're not looking for. Um, maybe the best example for an emperor on the kick drum is a Bonham-like drum sound where you want Still an open sound, but not as open as with a single ply drum head. And also you need the durability. So if you're looking for an open sound, not too open, with a good durability, Emperor might be your choice. Let's listen to it on the kick drum. Next up are pre drum drumheads and we're gonna divide them in three categories. And the first category is the dot in the center. Now this one you only find in a clear uh, finish, so no coated version of this one. And what does it do? It's the same as with the controlled sound head on the snare or on the toms. Um, it gives you a controlled sound in the center but you still have the open qualities of a single ply drum head on the outside. Now since the kick drum head you'll always hit in one spot in the center with your beater, um, the outer area here is not that important, but still you'll have the ring and the openness um, of a single ply drum head, but with a more controlled attack. This one's perfect, for example, if you look at like more vintage sounds uh, or you look back at old photos of drummers like Keith Moon or similar <laughs> stars from the past, you'll see the um, controlled sound heads quite often. So if you're going for a sound like this, check those out and this is what they sound like on the kick drum. Now the next option for pre and bass drum heads are drum heads with a dampening ring. And maybe the most common kick drum head out there for pop rock music is the power stroke. Now, since the controlled sound has the dot in the center, it controls the sound in the center, but still has the openness out here. But with this second layer of a dampening ring, you lose the overtones and the ring on the outside and just get a nice attack, a very full kick drum sound. 
Still, the Power Stroke P3 is a single ply drum head, so maybe adding an impact patch to enhance the durability is a good thing to go for if you're a more heavy hitter. And also, you have a drum head that's still open enough so that you can play around with muffling. And with a lot of muffling, you get a pretty muffled sound. But if you get rid of the muffling at all, you still get a little, yeah, still a little openness. Um, we'll listen to those in a second, but we've also heard them in the beginning of the video. Um, but there's also, same family, the Power Stroke 4. Power Stroke 4 is a double ply version of the same principle. Now with this one they have a wide ring out here, but the thing it does is basically the same. Um, the difference here is, now think back to single and double ply drum heads. Double ply drum heads, more durability, more attack. Um, paired with the ring of the P3, um, you'll get a pretty solid, muffled, very defined kick drum sound. Those won't work that well if you're planning on um, playing very soft and you want the openness, you want the kick drum to breathe. If you want that, go with an ambassador, maybe an emperor, um, but then power stroke or in general pre-dampened drum heads aren't the thing for you. The um, controlled sound might be because it's still a single ply drum head, reacts like a single ply drum head, but the, with this one you need a little energy to get the head moving just because it's pretty dead by itself. But let's listen to the P3 and the P4 on this DW kick drum. If this is still not enough muffling for you, um, you might want to look into the SMT drum heads that Remo just introduced this year. The design of the drum heads might look a little familiar. Post your thoughts about that in the comments. Um, but I think this is a drum head that many out there waited for for a long time. Um, they come in an ambassador version and an emperor version. Just as we've talked about before, single ply ambassador version, double ply emperor version. Now, even though this drum head sounds very dead, muffled, thick, it's still a single ply drum head. So um, durability of a single ply drum head with a very muffled sound. Once again, I'd place an impact patch here. They also come with one. This will enhance the durability of the drum head and also your beater. Those work especially well in all situations where you're playing a solid groove and you really need the one to be nice, solid, steady. Um, you will not need that much muffling inside the kick drum. Now before with the other playing sequences in this video, I probably would have always put a blanket into the kick drum. Um, with this one, we'll need a lot less since we have this, this, this ring that just slides in here and gives you the muffling that you want. So for all pop rock contexts, this might be the drum head to go with. Now let's listen to those drum heads, clear coated ambassador and emperor versions, all in roughly the same tuning on this kick drum. Now before we go into the direct comparison, here's just maybe a short talking about what drumhead might be best for you. If you're playing low volume and you want an open sound, um, 
the Ambassador is the way to go. Single ply drum heads, nice open quality, um, a little boomy. So for jazz playing or something where you want to have a lot of low end or also low end in uh, low volume playing, go with a single ply, maybe a double ply, not, but no uh, pre damping drum head. Um, if you're looking for a very clear, very cutting um, attack for groove music, for rock, metal, pop music, um, go with the pre damped drum head, maybe a power stroke, or if you want a really punchy kick drum, the SMT is a great solution for you. And just let me, let me put it this way. Um, a single ply drum head without any muffling at all just gives you the biggest range. Like you can have a very open sound and also if you put a lot of muffling in you can have a very muffled sound. And this range just gets narrower and smaller but with the amount of muffling you have from, from the start. So with an SMT for example you'll never get the, the open qualities of an ambassador but you're Right from the start, you're closer to that muffled kick drum sound that you might be looking for for pop and rock music. So, it's basically a thing of your personal taste, the music you play, and also the amount of energy you put into the kick drum. Because, like, if if you're beating the hell out of a kick drum, you might want to go with a double ply drum head just so that you can play the head a little longer, since it's also pretty expensive to get new drum heads. I really hope this video helped you out. I hope you got something out of the comparison that you're gonna see in a second. I know drum heads are expensive, it's hard to do a direct comparison yourself at home, so I hope this really helped you out. Let us know what your perfect kick drum head is down in the comments, also what music you play and why you chose the drum head. And then I hope to see you in one of the next videos. Have a great time.